I'm here today in Tully Hog in the county of Tyrone. Now, Tully Hog is a very special place, and to explain some of the wonders of, of Tully Hog, I have some of my friends from one of the local primary schools. Now, this place, kids, was a fort. Now, can anybody tell me what a fort was? It's a ring of trees. A ring of trees. And this place is ringed by beautiful old trees. And in Tully Hog, a very special family lived. They were called the O'Neills. The kings of Ulster, the kings of Tyrone, very, very important people. And it's built on a height so that you can look out over the whole of the north of Ireland. Now come on with me and we'll take a wee look at just what's round the corner. Now, when a fort was built, it was somewhere very, very high. Look at the distance. You can see nearly every county in the north of Ireland. And there's a very special place over here. What do you call that? That, that strange building? Killing Castle. Castle. And over here, we have the great town of... Cookstown, of course. And Makara felt away over here. So when you're up high, you can see all around you. And that was so important if you had a fort. Because the men in the fort were able to see for miles and miles around. Imagine that. Tully Hog is a truly marvellous place. And when I come here, there's a palpable sense of history of the activities and the ceremonies that took place. It is magical. Now, Ben, I saw you running up here. What was it like to run up? Was it, was it, was it hard or easy? Sort of hard. Sort of hard. And can you imagine if you were, say, a soldier hundreds and hundreds of years ago, and you were wearing all kinds of armour. What do you think it would be like to charge up here? Really hard. Really hard, really difficult. So it was very clever to keep this for the O'Neills, because look at how this dips down and then it's steep on the other side. So hard to attack, so easy to defend. The inauguration of the O'Neill took place in Tully Hog, on a stone reputedly blessed by St. Patrick himself. The O'Cahan threw a golden slipper over the O'Neill's head to signify good luck, and the O'Hagan, who was the hereditary guardian of the site, placed the slipper on the O'Neill's foot. The last inauguration of an O'Neill took place at the end of the 16th century, of Hugh O'Neill, in fact. The flight of the Earl subsequently took place, and Lord Mountjoy destroyed the site and sacked Tully Hogg. The coronation stone was destroyed and lost forever. Ah, Tully Hogg. One of the jewels in the crown. There are so many jewels to see in this area. The Wellbrook Beetle and Mill, the Beckmore Stone Circles, the Ardbow Cross. Now, why not come and visit them all? <laughs>